my name is Jonathan Silva, trainer here at Pragmatic Works, where we do everything from boot camps to hackathons to custom enterprise training, on demand learning, and even virtual mentoring. Now, today's video I'm going to bring you is going to look into one of the amazing new features that have been brought out in Power BI's December of 2021 update called Spark Lines. Now, spark lines are a great feature we can now use within our matrices and our tables to allow us to see our data in an, in an individual column to showcase in either a line graph or a bar graph for each and every cell within that column. So it's a really great way for us to showcase our data, some of the metric data that we want to have inside of those matrices, inside of those uh, tables that we can look at and just another way to make our end users really understand the report and so we can really get them the data that we want them to have. So let's go ahead and check out our report and see how we can use those spark lines today. All right, so as you can see here, we have a matrix visual that just showcases some of the data here. We're looking at Canada and the United States and some of our sales, our profits, our profit margins for just a, a single year period. And if you just look at our matrix here, the way I have it broken down here, we're looking at 2006. And then we also have for United States and Canada that year broken down for the four quarters. So just giving us a view of the different data that we have there. Now, if I wanted to add in a spark line here within this uh, matrix visual, what that would look like is I'm just gonna have myself add in another column right here. And then in inside this column for each and every single cell, we are gonna have a line graph or a column graph that we wanna have in there just to showcase our data in another way, another visual way, all within inside this matrix visual. So if we wanna go ahead and add in this spark line, we all we need to do is go over to the value section here in a visualization pane and decide which metric field, which numeric field we wanna have that spark line associated with. So let's say we're just gonna do Mars on our total sales that we have here. In order to add in the spark line, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on our total sales and then come on in and choose to add a spark line. And when I select that, you'll see we get this pop-up window here that lets us decide how we want to format our spark line here. So the first thing we notice is we have our Y axis already set up for us using the measure that we selected. Now it doesn't have to be a measure, it's any numeric field that we want to create this on, we can have put into our spark line. Right now again, we're we've already chosen total sales, so we're just going to keep it there. Now, if we look at our X axis for our chart that we're going to put into our spark line here, we're going to go ahead and choose a date field to have through here. So we can see our total sales over another date inside of our cell here. So we already have year, we already have quarter. Why not? Let's go down and choose month. And we're going to choose our, come all the way down here, our month number and we go ahead and select create, what you'll notice is we now have this new column that shows us this spark line graph. Now, what you'll see is if I'm, I'm gonna just minimize our years real quick so we can see it from a higher level, we have our spark lines for Canada for 2006 and the United States for 2006. And we can see as we go through the spark line, we can go all the way through the entire year broken down by quarter. Now, if I opened up, say, Canada for 2006, we can also see how each quarter matches up accordingly to that full year. We can have that same shape and as it goes through, and we can have to see how you know our total sales change per each quarter as well for the different months within that quarter. Now, in this view right now, it is kind of hard to see exactly which month we're talking about, like where we are within the quarter or where we are within the year. So what we can do is we can actually go and format our spark line to make it a little bit easier for not just ourselves, but our end users to understand the data within it. So in order to do that, we're gonna go over to our format area here, our little paint roller icon as I like to call it. We're gonna select our format there and we're gonna come on down here to where we have our spark lines. Now when I open up our spark lines, what you'll notice is the first thing available to us is to choose, well, which spark line are we working with? We only have one selected, so obviously that's the only one we're gonna go with. The next thing we have is to choose the type of chart that we wanna create. By default, we have a line chart that's created. Now what I can do is I can change that into a column chart if I want, and what you'll notice is we just have a little bit of a column chart. 
Now, in this case, because we have so many values here, because we're looking at each month, a column chart might not be the easiest for us to really use, really easiest for us to, to work with, to analyze. So I'm gonna switch that back over to our line chart. The next option we now have is to decide, okay, what is the data color that we wanna use? Do we wanna keep it the default blue? Do we wanna choose one of the theme colors that are built in? Or do we just wanna choose our own custom color here with our more colors? I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what? I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker blue to have it kind of stand out there in our white background. The next option we have is to go ahead and edit the stroke width. Do I wanna keep it the, the basic one? Or do I wanna go all the way up to four at our maximum? So you can see there, it just makes it a little bit thicker. Now it's a little bit more difficult to see the intricacies there. So maybe if we just kind of bump it back down to, to two, we can see the, the changes there a little bit easier. Another option we now have is to show where we wanna show these markers. Do we wanna keep it and just show every single point? And now as we know, because we chose month as, um, as our X axis here, each point on this line represents a different month. Okay. We can also say, you know what, I don't want to see every month specifically. Maybe I want to see the highest point within either the entire year or each quarter as we broke it down. Or if I don't want to see the highest, I can see the lowest. Or I can see the first, the last, or any negative numbers. We can also see a combination of them. Maybe I want to see the highest and the lowest. Okay. We can really choose all the different options there available to us to really make this stand out. And again, just as we could choose the data color, we can choose the marker color, maybe something that pops off the page a little bit more, maybe a little red there, so we can see it really, really well as we go ahead and look at this spark line. And again, we can change the marker size, bigger or smaller. Okay, I really think the three by default here is a pretty good size for us. And the very last option that we have with our spark line is we can choose the shape of these markers. Right now, the default is this, this little circle, but we can go ahead and decide maybe we want a square, or maybe we want a diamond, right? Or maybe a triangle. And we can keep going through, have this X, we can have a hyphen, right? Not too easy to see there. Maybe we have to bump that up a little bit higher there. It's still not so great to see that one there. Maybe we have a longer one, that's still not great. And the last one, we have our little plus sign there. I think the best one in this case is probably one of the bold ones. So let's just choose one of them. Maybe the diamond looks pretty good there. And I think that stands out. Make that a little bit bigger. Oh, that looks great right there. So these spark lines available really help us understand the trends within our data. Right? We can see things specifically in this case over time, which just lets us kind of understand that data on a better level. And so we don't have to add in an additional visual. Everything's also contained right inside of this visual for us. So it really takes, uh, takes up a little bit less space and makes it easier for us to really see the trends all contained here within this matrix. All right, well, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you found this video useful and helpful for you to implement SparkNotes in your daily reporting. Let me know in the comments how you plan on using this in the future. It's such a great tool, such an advanced feature we now have available to us. It's something I'm excited to see what everybody wants to do with it. And if you like this video and want to see more videos, not just from myself, from all of the other trainers here at Pragmatic Works, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe below so you can get all the new content that we're putting out on YouTube all the time, not just weekly, but we put out you know, more videos every day than we can possibly imagine. So go ahead and do that and you'll make sure to get all the new stuff from us here at Pragmatic Works. Mm -hmm.